and we're all over the red carpet like you. Well, I mean, Dakota Johnson, I have to say right now, she is the number one buzz on Facebook. Everybody's talking about her, and looking at her, you can tell why. In that custom red Saint Laurent gown, so sexy but demure, and of course, the best accessory, her mom, oh! Nelly Griffith, right? Oh, yeah, very, very I lovely. Love Joining me now, Robin is Melanie Griffith and her little girl, Dakota Johnson. This is the coolest mother-daughter date night ever. It's pretty good. <laughs> How do you feel, Mom? Your little girl, all grown up, a movie star in her own right, and now at the Oscars. I know. I, I don't want to say I'm so proud. I've said it so many times. It seems like it's not enough, but I am so proud. <laughs> First monster role. Anastasia in Fifty Shades of Grey has done so well at the box office. Yeah. Feels like everybody has seen it. Have you? No. No. Maybe. Maybe. Mm. What do you, yeah, what do you, do you have Maybe say? Maybe one day. You don't want to see it? Maybe one day. I don't think I can. Yeah. I, I think it would be strange. No, I don't think so. I think it's fine. I think that one day I, you can see it. Yeah. I think so. And I'll just tell you until you see it, she's really good. And, uh, yeah, there's the, there are those scenes, but she's also just a really good Well, she's a really good actress. I don't need to see that yeah. to know how good she is. You know? All right. You don't have to see it. <laughs> I'm like, you can see it, and you're just like, no. Uh, because she doesn't want, you know, I mean, there yeah. is that, that red room. <laughs> yeah, but I think it's okay. It's a movie. She knows that. And there's two more. If she tells me to see it, I, I'll see it. Two we'll more, definitely? I don't know yet. It's not, it's not definite. Because but. At the, by the last scene in the movie, which I, I had to see for research, um, to me, I was like, oh, good. They're definitely going to continue the story. Well, I hope so. That'd be nice. Yeah, it would be nice. <laughs> and you're pretty great. Thanks. What's next beyond Fifty Shades of Grey for you? Um, I, I don't know. I have a couple films coming out this year. Yeah. I don't know when, but at some point. <laughs> We're busy. I'm busy. Okay. Yeah. And tonight? Enjoy the show, ladies. Thank you so much. Dakota Johnson, Melanie Griffith, have the best time. It's great Thank to see you. you. Going back to Robin. Amazing. But also, Dakota Johnson and Melanie Griffith just sent the cybersphere on fire. <laughs> It was amazing. Why? Just because they're together? I, I think because not only were they together, and it's it's Dakota Johnson and, and Melanie mom. Griffith, and yeah. <laughs> but they also acted like a mom and her daughter. It was great. The standing back, yeah. let them talk, yeah. She was like, I'm not seeing okay, that movie. Here's mom, see right my here, movie. Actually. So yeah, from a long time ago. I was yeah, going to say, the one on the left was from a while ago. It was from a while ago, so they've been here together before. Yeah, I just so love seeing them. You have to do. Next presenter is not only the star of the record breaker for biggest February premiere ever, Fifty Shades of Grey, she's also the reason you had to explain to your grandmother what a spanking bench is. Please welcome Dakota Johnson. Writing a song for a film is difficult, but writing a song for a film about the music industry takes a special talent. In the movie Begin Again, the song Lost Stars binds the characters together through their pain and joy. Here to perform the song is Maroon 5, featuring one of the actors from the movie, Adam Levine. 